And karma serves an inner uh, discipline. Why? Because it states a truth. And the truth is that everyone is completely accountable to the universe. Over and over, we verify that. We have permission to ask that, O oh Lord. Everyone is absolutely accountable to the universe at the level of the absolute resist. At the level of the absolute, everyone is automatically accountable to the universe. <clears throat> this is true as a consequence of the power of the field. Huh? <clears throat> <laughs> Therefore, it's the field that guarantees salvation, yeah? So our subject today is intention. Intention. Very powerful. It's the spiritual will that, that determines karma. That, that, that determines calibrated level of consciousness. The calibrated level of consciousness is a mathematical way of sort of stating where you are karmically. What's been done, what needs to be done yet, yeah? Hmm. The, the individual will is too weak to accomplish things. I mean, try and give up Fritos before bed, you know what I mean? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> I'm into fried, what are those, potato chips, organic potato chips. Forget the individual will. <laughs> no, something far more powerful. The intention then. To align oneself with divinity, to be the servant of God, to search and seek for enlightenment, to be a spiritual devotee is enormously powerful. The divine will, when you invoke divine will, calibrates at 850. So if your consciousness level is at 302 and you try to accomplish a certain thing, you become discouraged. You say, Almighty God, I, in and of myself, and I'm able to do this, and I ask for a miracle. And then you forget it. And then you walk through the door and whoosh, it happens. <laughs> to get beyond cause and effect, then, one sees that existence is one is continuously miraculous. You witness the evolution unfolding. You're witnessing the unfolding of evolution. You're not witnessing cause and effect, and you're not witnessing change, and you're not witnessing time. Those are all mentalizations that you project. You know, Descartes, De Mar you know, was, was a great teacher, and he pointed out the duality. <laughs> Of res interna, res cogitans, that is, that which is of the mind, and res externa, otherwise known as res extensa, which is the world the way it is, and the difficulty then in spiritual evolution is to presume that res interna is the same, is representing res externa, that how you see the world is the way it really is. Thankfully, that's an error. <laughs> As you watch the commentators on the nightly news, you say, thank God, mentalization is just, it's only rest interna. Oh, boy. 